1979 and they last won the Constructors' Championship in 1983. And this is the firm, the, the, the constructor with the greatest resources and in many, and certainly the greatest charisma in the world, but somehow they, they usually fail quite to get it right. As I said before, if you have a look at the steering wheel there on the Ferrari, it costs something in the region of about $85,000. Absolutely incredible. You may ask why, incidentally. The answer is that it's full of high tech. It's not only a funny shape, but if you look, there's a little window in the middle, just over the 7.4 figures, and that window is the digital readout, which enables Schumacher, by pressing one of the buttons on the steering wheel, to get all sorts of information. Heaven knows how he finds time to decide what he wants and to absorb it, but he does. And there are many buttons on the wheel which control functions of the car. Broadly speaking, everything that possibly can be put on the steering wheel to enable Schumacher to operate it with his thumbs has been put there, because it enables him more to concentrate on what is in front of him. He even changes gear by operating paddles underneath the steering wheel. You'll notice he never takes his hands off the steering wheel to operate a, a gear shift because there isn't one. And uh, on the Williams, they have the clutch now on the left-hand side, and they have the gears on the right-hand side, and they only have two pedals now where the driver is braking with his left foot and accelerating with his right foot. So they've got that left foot constantly on the brake, and they can actually use the brake accelerator to try and balance the car through a corner like that using a touch of brake and a touch of accelerator. It's quite incredible. And how technology has improved in television coverage. Not so long ago, it was inconceivable that would be, we would be enjoying the luxury we are now of actually riding with a double world champion at virtually 10 tenths. Now he completes the lap. Schumacher's time of the lap that he's just completed was 1 minute 33.